Hi guys, this is Jordan with Motion Array. Today we're going to go over a simple, quick tutorial that will hopefully help to increase the speed of your workflow. It's really easy, but uploading videos straight to your platform on websites like Vimeo and YouTube can really help to save you time and energy. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that your video is ready to upload. Watch it through and make sure that you're happy with it, and then set your in and out points with the I and O keys. Next, hit Ctrl or Command M, or go to File, Export, Media. There should be a tab on the far right hand side that says Publish. If not, you may need to update your current version of Premiere Pro. Now you should see a variety of different social media accounts that Premiere is capable of uploading to. For our purposes, we're going to be using uploading to YouTube as an example. Hit the drop down button and take a look at your options. You'll notice that you only have a few sections to worry about. Let's start from the top. The first thing you're going to want to do is log in. Select the checkbox here for Premiere to allow you to start the login process. Hit login and it'll take you straight to the login section for that platform. Sign in as normal and you'll have given Premiere Pro access to post straight to that channel. Now that you've logged in, go ahead and start to set up your upload the way you normally would on that website. For YouTube, we can see that we can set the privacy, I'll just set it to unlisted for now. And we can also set up tags which help people to find your video and helps increase its search ranking. For example, I'll type in Premiere Pro export tutorial. Separate all your tags with commas and keep typing in however many more you need. Next is the description. Just like you would in YouTube, type in the text that would appear under your video. Including good keywords as well as words that are in the title of your video will also help to increase its ranking and help your video to perform better. Great, but wait, we don't have a video title section. That's because the name of your video will be its output name here. So name your video whatever you'd like it to appear as on your channel, and then select where you'd like it to be saved on your computer. Now if you don't want it to actually stay in your computer, you can hit this button, delete local file after upload, and Premiere will just delete the exported file from your computer once it's all said and done. Keep in mind it just deletes the final video that exports, not any of the work in Premiere that you've been doing to create the video to begin with. So no need to worry. And that's it. If you want to upload to more sites at the same time, you can do that. Just click whichever other boxes you need and they'll be included. Most of the other options for these platforms stay very similar. For example, you can see here that Facebook has exactly the same layout, and Vimeo is pretty much the same too, except privacy is just called viewable by. Once you've included all of the accounts that you want to upload to, hit export and you're good to go. Once the export is complete, it'll automatically be uploaded. And once that's done, you can continue to manage your video from that site as normal. And guys, that's it. I hope you really found this video helpful. Like I said before, it's a very simple thing, but it can save you a lot of time in the long run. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.